when Outlander Season 4 premiered last November, it was pretty much evident that our favorite time-traveling couple, Jamie and Claire Fraser would take the back seat and give the spotlight to the new young couple, Roger McKenzie and Brianna Randall Fraser. With 10 episodes so far, the season has balanced the story plot of both couples, but it has been the young time traveler's journey that has piqued the interest of viewers, especially with the brutal fate Brianna and Roger face in the 17th century. Even before the duo ventured through the stones, their 20th century love story itself was buzzing among Outlander fans, and once Brianna set sail and Roger immediately followed suit, fans have been talking about their complicated relationship. Let's start with episode 8 titled Wilmington, which was perhaps the most difficult episode to watch this season with Brianna's harrowing rape by the villain, Stephen Bonnet. What was even more disturbing was that the rape happened the same night Brianna handfasted, a temporary marriage, Roger after reuniting with him in 17th century Wilmington. Roger, who was adamant in his belief to marry her before sleeping with her, won her heart all over again by pursuing her for 200 years. However, that was short-lived as they soon got into an argument after Roger revealed that he knew that Brianna's parents were to die at Fraser's Ridge even before she found out. The fallout wasn't the end of the tragedy, it was the rape that followed. The showmakers decided to make the disturbing rape scene off-camera, but that did not lessen the pain in any way. The smirks and smiles of men and their ignorance towards a girl getting brutally raped next door haunted many. Sophie Skelton who plays Brianna, did an exceptional job at portraying the difficult scene that touched the heart of many rape survivors. The episodes that followed dealt with Brianna's PTSD and her coping with the horrors even after reuniting with her family, shivering at the gentle touch of her maid and having terrible nightmares about Bonnet. Roger, on the other hand, was beaten to a pulp by Jamie Fraser after being misinformed by Lizzie that he was Brianna's rapist. Now that Roger has been captured by the Mohawks of New York, and Brianna has strictly told her parents to get him back and tell him the truth about her pregnancy, Roger's fate was left on a cliffhanger in episode 10 titled The Deep Heart's Core. The biggest question was if Roger would time travel back to the 1970s again? Managing to escape from the Mohawks, Roger found another time-traveling portal, like that of Craig Nodun, in the middle of the American forest. With Mohawk chasing him and his life in utter jeopardy, Roger had placed his hands on the stone when the credits began to roll. Last Sunday's episode had to answer his fate, and it did. Roger stayed back in the 17th century. All for love. But guess what else happened? The anticipation of Roger's fate was real. Episode 11 titled If Not For Hope, witnessed the season's highest rating so far. According to TV series Finale, the ratings increased by 10.53% this week, which means up to 1.265 million viewers. It is to be noted that the views are the live and same-day ratings which do not include delayed viewings. The soaring digits only demonstrate that fans are now invested in the story of the young couple, who are yet to unite in Season 4. With only two episodes left, there is a lot to expect and watch out for. Now that beloved Brianna is engaged to Lord John Gray. Some fans want the OG couple back, but what's the harm in looking forward to something new?